This is Jeannie Patel Thompson from ListenToYourFreedom.com. Today we are going to talk about how to insert an affiliate link for a product on Amazon into a blog post. So we're going to assume that you have already signed up for your associates account and so if you have when you log in you're going to see things up here linked to this page. So this is how we know that you have an associates account which is the affiliate account with Amazon. So today I'm going to show you how to put how to add either um, a photo of the product or just a simple text link to embed it into your uh, blog post copy like if you were having a sentence check out this stainless steel drinking straw and you would just want to have this part link to this page I'm going to show you how to do that as well okay so let's get started I've already queued up a blog post in here ready to go so we can um, move a little faster so first of all let's teach you how to embed a text link to your Amazon affiliate product. So let's say an 8.5 inch straw and I want that piece of text to hyperlink over to here to these 8.5 inch long straws. So I have found this product and it's a good product and I click on link to this page. Now what shows up for me here is the text and image. Okay so it's a whole bunch of code here, what's going to show on my page is this. I don't want that yet. I want the text only. So I click on that. Now this, if I copy and paste this into my border, into my blog post, it's going to say Epica Stainless Steel, oh here we go, Epica Stainless Steel Drinking Straws Set of Four, but I don't want it to say that. Remember, I want it to say an 8.5 inch straw. So the easy way to do that is your affiliate link is the first part of this code. So here, see where it says ahref equals HTTP, starting at the HTTP, coming down, all the way to the end of the close brackets. Okay, so see you've got the open bracket here, and you've got the close bracket here. The stuff in the middle of that is your affiliate link. You don't need any of this other stuff, which just doesn't makes it so that what you want doesn't appear on your page. All you want is your affiliate link. These little um, triangle brackets, those are HTML tag brackets. So it's always going to be inside the HTML tag brackets, okay? So I've highlighted that. I copy it. I do just command C on my Mac to copy it, but you can do a right click and then copy it. Either way it works. And now I'm going to go back to my blog post. I've highlighted this. I click on the link. Here, I paste it in. So that's my whole URL. I want it to open in a new window because you don't want people to lose your blog post ad link. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to show you afterwards how these work. So now when someone clicks on that, it's going to go straight here without that and if they purchase that or anything they purchase on Amazon while they're here I am going to get a commission on. Alright, so now here I've got my headings for regular length straws and um, I want to actually put the photo in here. So I come back over here, I click on link to this page now this time I do want this whole visual and everything to appear. So, and I've clicked on text, it automatically shows you text and image and that's what I want. You can click over here and just show a photo of it. Um, and that's actually a pretty good idea because uh, it really depends whether you want the price to show so people get an idea and then they know that it's on Amazon or you just want to show a photo of it. It's really up to you and how you're positioning it within your blog post or your web page or wherever you're talking about it. So I'm going to go with the text and the image. I come down here. Now I can either click this, which highlights it, or I can put my cursor here and Command A, which selects it. Okay, there's lots of ways to do stuff on the internet. All right, so I'm going to copy that. Now here's the thing. Because this is a bunch of code, and I don't know what formatting they've applied here, I don't want to just go and put it 
bang into my blog post because I'm not sure if that'll work. So what I have over here is I have a plain text text file. You see how this looks really boring? It's because I've um, gone into format. This is text edit. If you're on a PC, this is called Notepad. And I've clicked on Make Plain Text. So here's my heading for regular straws. I'm going to paste it in here first because now I know it's removed any formatting. And the formatting, when you copy and paste from other places, is what can make your blog post buggy. So I always get into the habit of having this open and I always paste onto here. I mean, the first test text link that we did, I've I've copied and pasted a lot from Amazon, so I know that that text link is fine, but from any other site, I would have put the text link in here first, made it plain text. So now it's there, I copy it again, and then now here, guess what? What happens if I do this? Nothing, because I'm working in visual mode. Okay, you see how you can see the picture? I'm in visual. When you're pasting code for a video, or um, you know, an affiliate link or a web form, you cannot work in visual mode because we're doing code. And to do code, you have to go into text. You see how the code shows up? This is the code for that photo that was at the top of my page. So we are gonna come down here, regular length straws, and we're gonna paste it in there. Now, save it. Now let's go back to visual and see what it looks like. Ta-da! We can't see it until we preview it. Okay, let's preview it. Now we can really see what it looks like. There we go! Regular length straws, yay! Okay, but it won't show up when you're actually working on your post and when you want to paste in, remember, you have to switch to the text. So I say, well, I don't want to just give them a regular length straw, I want to give them a long straw, okay? So I'm going to flip back to text, and I'm going to go here, here we go. So this is um, one drinking straw, and it's angled. This is the one I want, 12 inches long, but they're straight. Okay, so I say, well, some people are going to like a straight straw, some people are going to like a bent one. So I'm going to grab the link to both of them. So remember, I come back over here, I'm on text and image, I highlight it, I copy it, I go to my text edit, paste it in there, I grab it again, I go back to my blog post, I make sure I'm in text, I am, come down to long straws, and I paste it in. Now I want to add the other one while I'm here. So the other one was this one, the bent one. So again, link to this page. Yeah, I want to grab the image and the text. I copy it. I paste it into my text edit. I grab it again because I've removed all the formatting. I come back to my blog post. Make sure I'm in text mode. I paste it in there. Save it, and let's go have a look. So there's the regular one we did, and here are the two long ones. And now I go, well, actually I don't want them to scroll up and down, I want them to be beside each other. And I have no idea how to do that, so guess what? Who do you ask when you get stuck? Who has the answers for every question you have? Hello, Google does. Hmm, you didn't give me what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to go figure it out because I'm feeling pressure because I know the cat, this camera's running and I will come back. So here's the summary. You may not like what I have to say, but it is what it is. So your only option is if you want it to appear like this where you have them tiled, then you need to grab some code that looks like this. And you can see it's a table, and then within the body there's individual cells. And then this part, again, we look for the HTTP within the brackets, and it ends where? There. 
that is the affiliate link to the image and all the rest of this is the code that tells your blog screen that you want them to tile across like this. So that's a bit difficult unless you have a computer programmer you can say set that up for me so it's not really a good long-term solution. Um, a better idea is to go and get a plugin that you can install on your blog. So there's a couple I have to show you. This is an Amazon product and a post plugin. These are all free by the way. There are ones you can pay for that may work even better but we're just focusing on the free ones. And so this is what it looks like when you insert it into your blog. So it's still not giving us them tiled across in a list um, but at least it looks nicer. So that's Amazon product in a post. The other one I found for you is Amazon Link, and it tiles them like this. Okay, so again, we still can't get them, you know, up and down. Now, in my search, I did come across uh, some very cool things. Here we go. So this is a deals widget. You can showcase the hottest deals on your web page. This is a blog widget. So you can choose books, food, pet, music, cars, pick which Amazon blog is best for you. Wish list. This is where you can showcase a wish list down the sidebar of your blog. Now this is an Amazon store widget. Now this is what allows you to add the products to the pages of your website. So, and then here we have the recommended products link. Okay, so this automatically features products based on your product categories or keywords. So this you don't even have to do what we're doing where you're going to each Amazon page and you're pulling this link. This widget will pull all that stuff automatically for you based on whichever categories or keywords you enter. So I might enter stainless steel drinking straws and it'll pull them all up for me. Okay, but it won't, I don't know, I haven't used this one, so I don't know if it will let me edit the ones that I want or not. But anyway, those are three ideas for you, and I go, too difficult, because if you did this on a regular basis, it would be worth getting a plug-in or a widget and setting that up and utilizing it. For me, I hardly ever insert images uh, into my blog posts like this, so instead, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to leave them in this format, and I am going to just add a little bit more text. So for the long straws, I'm going to go straight tip and then bent tip, which is my preference. Okay, and let's save that. And I think that'll just make it look a little bit better, you know, in terms of them knowing, well, why am I listing these in a line? And, um, and this is what happens sometimes with Amazon. If they can't grab that link, at the precise moment. So let's reload it and I bet you it'll appear. Yeah, see now it's back. So if your computer connection is glitching or Amazon server is glitching and they can't grab it, that's what appears. So here I've gone straight tip and bent tip. And you see that the, the side of the box is gone because that part of Amazon is glitching. So you just, you know, it's technology, it is what it is. But that is how you insert both a text link to an Amazon affiliate pro product and a photo link to an Amazon affiliate product.